another e-bike battery usual complaint goes for a mile then it stops be nice to have a look at this and see what we can do supply key separately just wondering whether we could read that label it says Philly on the battery DC 37 volts so I've hooked up the charging port which is there it's an LED on the charger let's see what happens oh clicking red light of death between green and red run out of bench and I think we'll call this pack refurbished previously I think someone's been in there before a multitude of multicolored cells let's go for a few voltage readings start the green ones here 3.9 okay don't expect to see any voltage at all but you know 4.05 it's probably easy to, to, to do on the other side 4.07 checked all of these banks of cells seem to be in banks of four and they all read between 3.7 and 4.1 a bit imbalanced but there's life in each one of them and this is my understanding of how it works it's four cells in parallel and 10 in series so 10 times 4 is 40 volts a little diagram for anybody that may be interested See, just drawn one cell, banks of four, negative, all linked up through to the positive. Negative goes through the BMS, and the positive comes straight from the other end of the battery. I think what I should do on this is to do a whole pack discharge test and see what happens. That's a very strange discharge curve. So that only gave me 2687 milliamp hours. Was looking for about eight run for 80 minutes look at this extreme end of this graph here so it went to about 35 volts then straight off the side of a cliff that's got to be down to the it's got to be down to the BMS cutting out does seem to be a BMS related problem I thought initially that the this BMS had gone too hot running for about 80 odd minutes but it's freezing cold in my workshop so I doubt is that so I'm about 10 degrees now yeah okay so I'll measure the I'll measure the whole pack voltage to show you not through the BMS, just on the battery itself. So 37.1 volts. So I'll leave the positive there. And from from the BMS to the output on the negative. It's showing four volts. And on this wire coming from Going to the BMS from the battery pack, 37 volts. So the BMS is only allowing 3.6 volt through. Uh, looks like we'll have to hunt for another battery management system. This is the new BMS that I purchased. It looks almost identical to that one. That's the new BMS connected up. That's 
the old one. I'll try and do a quick capture on this while it's discharging. It's, it's around about 31 volts total at the moment. So just probed around the individual packs. This orange one here. <laughs> Not 0.7 volts. And I've checked the rest of them, they're on about 3.3, 3.4. So this this pack here, this bank of four orange ones, that's the problem. This rainbow coloured pack of cells is probably made up of old laptop cells or something like that. It seems to be a fad. I'm using reclaimed cells, but mm, hasn't worked in this case. Just do a quick test on that. I've only just taken the load off it. Let's see if these are re recovered. I still showing low voltage, 1.7. So a lot of the time, battery cells they recover quickly as soon as the lo load's taken off them. This one obviously hasn't. Just a quick check of. That's where they should be, about 3.3 volts. Let's try another random one. 3.4 volts. Okay, so that's at least four cells there to replace. I reported back to the customer about the state of this pack. Even sent him a picture of my rainbow coloured X laptop cells made up of e-backpack and I told him that these these cells would have to go as a bare minimum but I strongly recommended a discharge test on all of these so that would be 10 tests because there's four 10, 10 banks of four in there that's going to fall off if I angle it anymore so that's the next step and before I do a discharge test of these I'll just point out that I've charged up this whole pack again up to full with the original and supplied charger so first off I'm going to be charging this pack on the top left green cells here I can't get everything in shot it's just way too big then I'll work my way down the line the left hand side first then probably do the right hand side one at a time let's cut the voltage I'll be kind three volts uh, test amps should be able to give two amps a cell eight amps I wonder if they'll I wonder if they'll take this or they'll just collapse in a heap that's one way to find out yeah 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 Goes bang. Voltage collapse. Voltage 3.9, 3.7, 3.5, 3.2. Shit. <laughs> hmm. Test time 8 seconds. 8 amps. That's going to happen to all of these, isn't it? Let's try the next one. Now for the pack directly beneath it, purple and orange, same parameters, see if they have the same disaster. Four volts, three point eight, three point two, three point one, shit. <laughs> oh, another eight seconds. Is it not designed for two amps each of output are they? I will persevere. Quick, quick while it's working. I've got one pack will take eight amps. <laughs> it's the ninth one that I've tried. You see that? The, the yellow one. Otherwise it's a disaster. <laughs> 57 seconds. Is that going to be the best, is it? And just for completion. 
could see this tenth and last pack fall off a cliff. Three point zero six, three point zero four, just like the rest of them. Ugh. So where do we go from here? Now we know that this pack, or at least parts of it, are good for about 2 amp discharge because I've already done the test. 2 amp isn't good enough to light a fleece fart. It should be good for 8 at least. If this was my pack, I'd throw it away and start again. But it's not my pack, it's a customer's pack. I need something for comparison. Oh. Now I've got some salvage cells out of another e-bike pack. Is that me seen? These are Samsung cells. G650, these are good for about 5 amp discharge each. What I'll do for comparison is to make up a pack of uh, four of these in parallel and run a test side by side with the others. And here's one I made earlier. Well, just this minute. Okay. So it's the same as one of these, just that this one's flat, those are square. Let's do a discharge test on this and hope I don't get embarrassed by the, the results. Now I've got this pack hooked up to the test equipment. Three volt cut off, eight amp load. Don't fail me now. Four volt, three point eight, three point five, three point four, three point three. Holding at three point three. Can I see where it is yet? Three point three volts in holding. At 8 amp discharge. Now the pack I made up out of these, they were all newly charged, freshly charged and tested. Let that run its course, shall we? Now that's my comparison pack discharged. That is so much better. I hope that can be seen at test time of 21 minutes, not 8 seconds. So I'm powered 2, 2.8, so I'm 8 amps. Save that. Okay, so that's where the, follow the cursor, that's where the Samsung pack is charged to. Follow the cursor. This tiny little bit in the corner. <laughs> That's the original pack. Let's get to be closer. Hold on. Let's go handheld. A bit in the corner, but the cursor. That's where the originals are discharged to. So where do we go from here? Well, personally, I'm not going to waste any of my customers' money on this battery pack. It's not fit for purpose. Be much better off um, just scrapping this and making a whole new pack. You could even make half a pack, just use, let's say, a bottom row, just using 20 cells instead of the 40 that we've got here. So I'll report this, these findings back to the customer and see what he says.